Hey, chickies. I'm a bit of drags. Who wants to come on and flop about? They all do. They all want flopping time. They didn't get any flopping time yesterday because of the weather. I wasn't sure they'd get flopping time today. Well, come on out. Stay away from the blueberries. Imagine that. No, no, no. No, no, no. It looks like everybody wants to storm the castle gate. Yeah, they do. We want to storm the castle gate. Let us out, Mom. Let us out. Okay. I had to wrangle everybody out of the blueberries first. They don't have a place to run anymore. <laughs> but I feel like... So do you have anything planned to help your mental health? The chickens say a nice dust bath will be very beneficial. These guys seem to think that the best thing for their mental health is the garden. I disagree. And I know my husband would disagree. You guys can get a bug. That's okay, just don't eat the plants. Hey, does anybody know if my oak tree is going to die? Looks like it has oak decline, maybe from last year's drought. Looks like we have a couple kids in the run. I think my husband finished my greenhouse, all except for the floor and the shelving. It looks beautiful. The top vents are open. He does amazing work. So here's a fun fact about chickens. Do you know how fast they can run? They can run a whole lot faster than me. They can run nine miles an hour. That's pretty darn fast. And I wanna know how they figured that out. I have questions. Did they put them on a treadmill and turn it on super fast or did somebody chase one in a car or on a bicycle? I know you have questions too. How'd they figure out how fast you can run? Yeah, but heck, but heck. Well, guess what time it is. It's time for the chicken traffic jam. We sure hope you had a good Sunday and a great weekend. Been pretty crazy, all the different things. Cinco de Mayo, a new month. It's like everything at once. But we sure are glad you decided to share time with us. We know there's a lot of things you could be doing and you decided to come and see what these chickens were up to. Hope you're ready for the new week. Make it a great one. Be sure to put a smile on your face and in your heart. Only you can turn that frown upside down. Yeah, <laughs> So tell me what you did this weekend. I am getting ready for my sister to come from the Seattle area. She's not going to be here long. I don't know if she'll come out to my house at all. But we got the grow room moved to the greenhouse and my husband finished the greenhouse except for the shelving and the floor and to me just getting the greenhouse out here instead of in my guest room is like amazing so i've had a great weekend i sure hope you have too whatever you've been up to hope you did something fun but -dick -ba -dick.
Yeah, she seems like she's going broody. If you're thinking about getting an omelet door, just know when the weather permits, you're going to have to fight with some stubborn girls if you have predator issues. We have this thing pretty darn secure, so we don't worry so much. But if we had some predators out here, I would come out and push her in and close it. But she loves to breeze. They decide when the door closes. We have a little bit of traffic jam going on at the door. I believe that's Henny Penny who's become our door guard. Sometimes chickens just need a door guard. Henny Penny is glad to oblige. I'm wondering what's going to happen with this standoff in the doorway. Seems like there's a little bit of road rage going on. They're beak to beak. Seems like the door blocker has blocked the door even more. She seems to be uh, showing her honoriness. Chuck says he'll deal with her in a little bit. Hey Chuck, is it time to say goodnight? Yeah, but up but to you too, buddy. See how he breaks up this traffic jam. gonna happen. This wind out here is crazy. He is pushing right on through and he is leading the way for little peep to go into. And she is on guard again. Back. That's good night in chicken language. <laughs>